Hello there, my pro banditos, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we arrived here in Gold Dune City. Today we're going to explore around Gold Dune and see what we can find. I also want to give you guys a very big thank you for being my eyes throughout this adventure. You guys told me to go back to Cycling Road and get the TM that was under the bridge that I missed. That is TM40 Aerial Ace. So thank you guys for that. I'm really glad that I get tips from you guys and that you get to help me out on the adventure. If it wasn't for you guys, I'd be missing a couple more things. So let's talk to some of the people here in this town. Occasionally, we'll get some really good items out of it, so it's going to be worth a shot. Also, if you're enjoying the series, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. I knew it. We got ourselves a nugget. So there are going to be nuggets just laying around here, and those are really good. You can sell them for a lot of Poke Cash. So we're going to make sure to do just that. What's up? She says, hey, I know this may be a little odd to ask, but have you found any mushrooms during your journey? They don't grow around here, and no, oh, their little spots and caps are just too cute. I'll buy them off you. So there we go. I actually do have a couple. I have a tiny mushroom. She's going to give us 500 for it? Okay, I'll take it. So there's going to be a lot of money to be made here in Gold Dune City, and that's what I'm talking about. If you guys remember, we still have our egg that we got last time as well waiting to hatch. I made my way all the way to Cycling Road, and it still didn't hatch, surprisingly. So I wonder when that'll be. It's going to be a surprise for us. 5,000 for the big mushroom. There you go. That is really, really good. Make sure you come here and exchange those mushrooms. Oh, look at that. There's a little dog here. That's pretty cool. They said, we've come all the way from Brushes Town to help raise some of the younger Pokemon around here. Speaking of which, I've been caring for this little husk pup the best I can. But I think the weather around here isn't good for it. Would you be interested in having it? Yeah, definitely. So there we have it, guys. We got ourselves a husk pup. And I have to tell you guys, I used to have an Alaskan Malumu puppy. His name was Rush. And sadly, he passed away. But in order to keep his memory alive, I always like to name a Pokemon after him. And since this looks a lot like him, I'm going to name this Pokemon Rush. So I'd like you to welcome Rush the Husk Pup to our team. Splendid. It already looks happy in your care. So sweet. Let's check it out. I didn't even know that we were going to get another Pokemon here. It's level 20, and it's an Ice type. Whoa, there we go, guys. So we got Rush the Husk Pup, an Ice type Pokemon, and that's pretty good. Now we have a lot of type diversity on our team, so we should be able to handle a lot more. Really glad we found that. I was not expecting that at all. Sometimes that's just how life is. Some things are meant to be, and we just have to go through life overcome those things and eventually you'll always find some more happiness you know that's how things are I, i'm a firm believer in always moving forward always keeping going and that's how i feel a lot about life i've had a lot of challenges thrust upon me and i always try my best to overcome them this guy just mentioned some gloves we got the strength gloves let's go back in the desert there's also a cave that needed strength so i couldn't push through it I went back and battled a lot of the trainers, took some of the items there, nothing too crazy. I feel like we already found everything, but it's a good thing that we got those gloves because now we're going to be able to make our way back there. So much sand, it's everywhere. I believe it. I'm feeling the sand all up in my shoes, in my pants. Sand is pretty annoying. There's the move deleter. So sand dunes got a lot to it. I'm glad that we're exploring it. I don't think I would have found most of this here if I wasn't just running around like a maniac going inside of people's houses. Hey, it's up to them to leave the door open, right? So if they're leaving the door open, what can we do? We're just going to have to go explore, occasionally take some of their items. You know how it is. This guy said, I'm a scientist. I can turn fossils into living, breathing Pokemon. So the fossil guy is located here as well. We got the move deleter, the fossil guy. You can get yourself a husk pup Pokemon. Pretty cool. This guy said, I'm taking a break from Gold Dune Cave. That must be the cave that I couldn't get to. And we got TM28 Dig! Yeah! Thank you so much, dude. I wonder what we're going to have to do in that cave. I need to make my way back there. There also seems to be a gym here, though. So let's go check it out. Let's see what they have to tell us. Hey! Oh, of course. There's someone blocking the path. You want a gym battle? Well, Dustin isn't here. He's off at Gold Dune Desert finding Pokemon fossils. You can find him in the cave. And there we go. We are going to be able to find Dustin in the cave, and now everything makes a little more sense. So we are going to have to do some backtracking to the Gold Dune Desert. I also picked up some Super Repels here, so we finally made it to the shop with the Super Repels. After a long time, we have finally done it. Super Repels are going to be 
One of the most efficient ways to get around here. I already battled this guy as well. Let's see if I can find that cave. It is right here to the northwest of the desert. And it's time for us to push through. Now that we have the strength gloves and the clippers, we're going to be able to maneuver through a lot of different areas. So let's go ahead and use those strength gloves. Reminds me a little bit of Ocarina of Time. You get like the power gloves. We got ourselves an escape rope. Of course we did. This is about to be a tough little area, isn't it? As you guys can see, I also have our dynamite up in front, Bang. I've trained Bang up to level 25, shoots at 21, Hawkeye's at 24, Hulk's at 32, which is really, really strong right now. We have Egg, just egging around. And now we have Rush at level 20 as well. So let's make our way inside. We've made it to the Goldune Cave. And would you look at that? There's gonna be more to it than I thought. We're probably gonna come out of that way. Uh, that's what I firmly believe. We are always gonna loop back around. So let's go deeper and deeper into Goldune Cave and see if we can find the gym leader today. Hope you guys are having a good day. It's Friday. We've made it to another weekend. And I've been having a pretty good week. Just enjoying my time here in El Salvador as I told you guys. I've also asked you some really interesting questions. One of them was, what would your profession be in the Pokemon world? I have a lot of good answers from you guys. One of my favorites is when you guys are just like straight up champion. And I agree. If you want to be the champion, go for it. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Now, personally for me, I'd have to say that I'd probably be a Pokemon trainer at first. But as I got older, I'd like to help people. So I'd probably lean towards gym leader. Something like that. Maybe even Pokemon professor. Because I really like Pokemon and I'd like to take care of them. Rodri, I found Dustin. He's been here in this cave training. He found some Pokemon fossils. Sorry, I wasn't at the gym. I just couldn't resist the urge to uncover these fossils. I tripped over a piece that was poking out of the ground and just had to dig them up. Awesome, right? It would be more awesome if you just went back to the gym so that we can battle. Oh, sorry. I guess we can go back now. But the fossils, I don't want to just leave them. You know that you can get Pokemon from these fossils? There's a building in Goldoon City. A scientist named Bert can revive them using a special machine. You guys should take a fossil each and get them revived. An ancient Pokemon revived from a fossil, huh? Hmm. Okay then, Rodri, since you're weak, I'll let you choose first. We're gonna get to choose between two fossils. This is gonna be the plate fossil, and this is going to be the teeth fossil. I'll go with the teeth fossil. And there we go, we got the teeth fossil. Okay then, I'll take this one. Well, Dustin, can we go to the gym now? I guess you really do want a battle. Okay, we'll go now. Catch you later, loser. See you later, Big Rick. The, you know what I mean. Let's go ahead and push this boulder down. I feel like this is going to be the exit out of here. As I told you guys previously. I'm feeling good about it though. So we got Dustin back into the gym. We also have a fossil now that we can revive. We got a nugget. Who would have thought that's what would be laying around here in the desert. If I was this, these people over here, I'd just be looking all over for nuggets. If you can find nuggets in the desert, that sounds like a decent life. You're just going to be living off of your own findings. Why not? Now, let's go ahead and make our way out of here then. And we are ready to make our way to the Gold Dune Gym. So I hope you guys are pumped up for that. We can also revive this fossil. Let's go give it a shot. I don't know if it's going to send it to our PC or if I'm going to need a space. If I need a space, I'll just do it later. Because I'm ready for the gym. I always have a lot of fun with the gyms. And we're coming up on gym number four here. So we're halfway through. Once we get this gym badge, of course. Let's go talk to that scientist. Yo, Burke. We got a fossil for you. Yeah, we do. The teeth fossil. Said I'll see if I can revive your teeth fossil. Come back later. Come back later? Alright, well, we're going to go and jump into the gym then. Good to see you too, Nurse Joy. I've healed us up. Let's make our way inside of the Gold Dune City Gym. The gym leader is Dustin. Get it like dust because we're out here in the desert. All right, let's step right in then, ladies and gents, and let's get prepared. Hello there, this is the gym of Gold Dune City. The leader Dustin specializes in ground type Pokemon. You have to find Dustin at his gym. You should use the quicksand to go deeper into the gym. Maybe this will help you against him. We got a fresh water. Thank you, my man. You guys just heard, we're going to have to go deeper into the gym as well. 
I'm just gonna go drop right in. So let's go into the sinking sand. And we're gonna have our first battle of today. So let's go ahead and jump in. I have our Dynamite ready to go. We're gonna be going up against some ground type Pokemon. So let's see how our Dynamite can do here. We're pretty much caught up in levels. Sandster's level 25 and is whooping up a sandstorm. Now you guys can see some new moves. I got Hone Claws here. I got Rock Tomb and Submission. I think those are all really, really good, especially if we have to go up against a flying type with Bang. We can just drop the Rock Tomb on them. And since we're going up against ground type Pokemon, it's gonna be really good to have our fighting type Pokemon ready to go. Bang has Moxie as well, so every time we do some damage, we're gonna get powered up, which is insanely good. Next is gonna be a Sand Dug. Let's keep it going. I'm also keeping an eye out for Brick Brick Breakity, Brick 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 Breakity though, because that is my favorite TM. So today's question of the day is going to be, what is your favorite TM? Let's see if we can find it together. You guys have already been helping me out a lot, so I have no doubts about it. I'm not doing as much as I thought I would here. Bang is taking some heavy damage. So let's switch out, and let's go into Hulk, who is level 32. I can't be switched out. Oh, okay, okay. Well, then I'm just going to go for another submission. Hope I do a little bit of damage and we'll switch things up. It's also good that we're getting the practice in right now with the battles. Because I'm going to remember these Pokemon since I'm sure the gym leader is probably going to have a couple of them to use. Was I just clicking on Sand Tomb that whole time? That might have been the problem there, ladies and gents. You know, once in a while, just get a little off track. Let's go for the Razor Leaf then. And this should be an easy battle. It survived? How the heck? The little Sand Dug is pretty strong, pretty tanky. We'll go for one more Razor Leaf, and that should take it down. And we'll keep moving through here. You guys can also remember we do have the Revival Herbs and a couple things like that. So it should be pretty easy for us to keep going through here. Let me go use our Medicine. I bought these for a reason, and it's for situations like this where I mess up a thing too. You know what I'm talking about. So now we can go to the right. We can go to the left. We don't need a Repel. I think we're good. I'm going to drop down here. Nothing. And, uh, oh boy, I think I just went down the wrong path. Yeah, yeah, I need to go to the right then. We got this, we got this. I wonder how many people we're going to have to take down here. Ah, let's go into our next battle of today then. Said my favorites are Bug-type Pokemon. Pretty cool. I like Bug-type Pokemon as well. I actually really like all Pokemon, for that matter. We got a Gwurm coming out, level 25. Let's go for the submission then. I have 25 of them. As I was telling you guys though, keep an eye out for Brick Brick Breakity. If you guys know where the heck I can find it, I will definitely go back and get it as well. I have Spot here with me today. He usually doesn't stay in the room when I go to record, but he just didn't want to leave today. So I just told him, you know, you can chill, you can hang out, but don't be bothering me. And guess what is happening? He's literally coming up to me right now. He's trying to leave the room. And that's just how it goes once in a while. I tell him, you know, calm down, dude. You know, this is how it's going to be for a little bit. Let me play my game. Let me do my thing. And then I'll take you for a walk. Shoot grew to level 22, which is who I have the XP share on. And you know what? This might just not be the best situation to have our Dynamite out right now. So I'm going to try to take down the Pokemon that are here. But I think we're going to be okay. Maybe giving the XP share to our Dynamite for now. We got afflicted with an infestation. What the fudge? This guy just infestated us. Let's go for the Razor Leaf. This Sand Dug, I'm telling you guys, is pretty freaking good. I'm not able to do that much with my Razor Leaf. And Hulk is our strongest Pokemon by far. So there we go. The Sand Dug is out of here. And we're going to keep going on through then. Good battles, Bug Catcher. Good battles indeed. I'm going to push this rock into the hole. As I'm sure there's going to be a puzzle coming up here that we need this with. So let's go for it, ladies and gents. Let's see what we can find. Another question I asked you guys was, what is your favorite game? And I got a lot of great answers from you guys. And I have to tell you right now, my favorite games currently would have to be World of Warcraft Vanilla. I have a bunch of friends playing it. Like three different servers I need to start accounts on. So at some point or another, I'm going to have to commit and just go all in and start training hardcore. The other game, though, that I'd say is my favorite would have to be RuneScape. It's been my favorite ever since I was a kid. And to this day, I still play it on and off. So it's not like I play it every day, but I'll go back on there and mess around a little bit. Another game that I play a lot would have to be Madden. I'm a really big sports fan, so I love football. I love soccer, basketball, baseball, not as much, not as much. 
But I do like all the other sports, so I'm a big fan of Madden. I've been playing that game since I was really, really young. Like a really young kid. And it's just been fun for me ever since. So let's jump into our next battle of the day. And let's see what we can do, ladies and gents. One of the games that did stand out to me, though, that a lot of you were talking about was Pokemon Masters. I'm excited to try it out. I can't say I have yet. And there we go. We took down the Torin. Good so far. I have to download it and give it a shot, but I've seen some screenshots and it looks pretty cool. It looks like a lot of fun, so definitely something I'd be willing to try. If you guys are interested too, I would go and do a Let's Play, so just leave me in the comments if you'd like to see a Pokemon Masters Let's Play as well. I think it would be a lot of fun. It's a different type of game, so it's a phone game. It would be different, but also a lot of fun. Let's make our way inside then, and we're going to have another battle. Let's keep on going. The battles have been fairly easy though, with Hulk here just smashing through everything. So as long as Hulk keeps doing that, we're gonna be good to go. Sandster level 26. I'm not too worried about the Sandsters. The only one I'm worried about is that one Pokemon that is a bit of a tank. Sandster is out of here. But to tell you guys the truth, when push comes to shove and we get into the battle, Hulk might just be able to crush everybody out. That might be what happens. Oh, all right. They got me on a puzzle here. I can definitely do this, ladies and gents. Let's go ahead and get this puzzle down. I think I got this in the bag. I'm pretty good with these types of puzzles. And this one doesn't seem to be that difficult of one. Yeah. All right. I didn't mess that one up. And we're good. We're going to be ready to make our way into what is hopefully the final room. Let's find out. This definitely looks like it. I'm going to drop down. And it looks like we are going to be ready to keep battling. All right. This isn't it. We were close though, right? We got to be real close. There's got to be one more path up. Because there's been like five or so trainers here. This has been one of the longer gyms. Which I don't mind at all. I'll take all the XP we can get. Torin, use Bide. I really hope that this gym leader has a Torin so I can just KO like at least one or two of his Pokemon. We have six Pokemon on us, five active. So I'm hoping that we can at least bring four of them into the fight now. We were fighting with three previously. Should be four here. Maybe by the next gym it'll be five. It's for us to find out. We took down a hiker. Yeah, your poor Torrens, dude. You might want to get a couple different Pokemon and change things up a little bit. Oh boy, I'm going to have to shove all these rocks down, aren't I? Yep. Yep, I'm going to have to figure out how to shove all these rocks down, ladies and gents. So let's begin. There are three rocks here. So there are probably going to be three switches down below. Things are definitely heating up here a little bit. So let's go ahead and do just that. No, 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 no! I fell down the hole myself. No, I fell down the hole. But that makes a little more sense now. Okay, so maybe we have to come down here and do this one at a time. If that's how it is, so be it. We'll get it together. We'll go back around and push the other two rocks. That's why I'm glad we already knocked out all the trainers. Because all that's going to be left for us is to do the puzzle. So that's two. That's one, I mean. We took down this guy. And now we just got to do the loop to do back around. Yeah, sorry trainers, sorry trainers. That's how it is over here. It's great, though, that the rocks do stay in place, so it's not like we have to go and do it again. That would be a bit of a hassle. <laughs> that would be a pretty difficult puzzle to get through. So let's go back up. We still have two rocks to push. We're going to go for this one next. And then last but not least, we'll take down the third rock. I'm super ready to take on the gym leader. We're going to see how tough this guy is. We battled some pretty cool gym leaders before. I've been enjoying the design of this game. I feel like they just make a lot of sense. Come on! Come on! I just messed it up! No! Here we go again, here we go again, ladies and gents. It's gonna happen. Sooner rather than later. Don't do what I do. Take your time with it. Don't try to rush things. Just try your best to push the rock slowly. Alright, we got it this time. We got it this time. Just gotta breathe. Just got to keep it together. Let's see if the rock will go down on its own. It will. Oh, okay. I'm going to go back in and out since we have one more to go. And here we go. Last but not least. And then we'll be able to solve the puzzle. And I'm saying this is probably it. I don't think they're going to put 
any more challenges in front of us, especially after a puzzle of this magnitude. So let's go ahead and get this one over here. Pretty easy once you have the layout down, so you should be able to proceed on through here without too much trouble. And let's dive right down with our rocks, since we already placed one. We gotta do it again! Alright, well it looks like I am gonna have to loop my way through here, so let's start using strength. And let's get our rocks going. I'm gonna push this one. Yeah, let's go. We'll push this one in first. And then we're gonna figure out the rest from here. Hasn't been too bad though, so we'll see. I really wanted to get our dynamite up in front, but it just didn't seem like this is going to be the right gym for it. Or maybe I just need us to train a couple more levels. That could be it. That happens occasionally. Push it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this. I got this. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that, ladies and gents? It's almost like I know what I'm doing when I really don't. I am just going with the motions and hoping that we can get through this place. All right, let's go. A little bit faster now. And this is going to be the final one. If I don't know where they pull like another rock out, I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. So let's make our way inside. And that is it. The gym leader stands in front of us. I'm going to heal us up and we'll be ready to go. It's time for us to take on the fourth gym leader of the Rakoto region. Oh, hey! Do I know you from somewhere else? Oh, yes, you're the trainer from the cave. Welcome to my gym. Glad you made it. So, you want to have a battle? You should know that I specialize in ground type Pokemon. They are powerful with high attack and defense stats, but normally they are not the fastest ones. Let's do it. I won't go easy. He won't go easy, he said. So, let's open up with Hulk. We'll put Bang in here at 2. Hawkeye at 3. And shoot at 4. Oh, no more than 3 Pokemon. That's it. Sorry, guys. Let's enter them, then. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rodri versus Gold Dune City's gym leader, Dustin. The Dust Man. Let's see what gym leader Dustin can do. He's got his three Pokemon ready to go. He's going to open up with a Cassand. Okay. This looks like a pretty tough Pokemon. See if we can do some damage to it. Oh, no. This is that infestation thing. Oh, no. I got hit with the infestation, ladies and gents. I got to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to go for the rollout. I'm going to start stacking it, ladies and gents. I feel like the only way to take down this Pokemon is going to be a rollout. But what's really good for us as well is I do have revival herbs now. And we missed. Come on, Hulk. Ugh. Iron defense is going to be coming out as well. Hulk, help us out, man. Help us out. I guess I'm just going to have to go for the Razor Leaves here. I feel like Kassan might be the strongest Pokemon that we're going to have to face. So if we can take it down, we're going to be A-OK. -okay. I just got to hang in here. Hang in there, Hulk. Oh, man. We're at 5 HP right now. I do have Hyper Potions and everything, though, ready. So let's go ahead and use one. We got eight of these bad boys ready to go. Make sure you guys stock up here at the shop. The shop is pretty good. There's a lot going on here. Now, Cassand. Is doing a good bit. We were freed from the infestation finally. I wonder if we were to switch to Hawkeye, how much the wing attack is going to do. Now I'll tell you guys, I don't know what the Cassand is. I'm assuming it's a bug type though. So we might be able to do something here. I got aerial ace and wing attack. Let's go for the wing attack. Come on, Hawkeye. Pull this through for us. Oh wow, that did nothing. Literally nothing. Oh man. This is going to be an absolute mess of a battle, ladies and gentlemen. This one is not going to be my proudest moment. And there we go. Dustin with Drew. Orichur's coming out. Orichur's level 27. I'm going to switch back out to Hulk. I think Hulk should be able to KO the Orichur here. So now we know which Pokemon is going to be the one that gives us trouble. The takedown isn't going to do a whole lot. So, let's see if we can do a little something. Let's hit that Razor Leaf and let's start doing some serious damage here. The Orichur is going to be going down and that's what I'm talking about. We also took out one of the potions already, so we should be okay here. The ground type moves aren't going to do a whole lot to us. Another Super Potion has come out from Dustin though. So that means we got two Super Potions out of the way. I'm not too worried at all anymore. So there we go. We hit a crit. The unnecessary crit as I told you guys. We really didn't need that. Hulk grew to level 34. Hawkeye grew to level 25. 
Because Sand is coming back out. Let's sing Bang out here. Let's see what Bang can do. There's a reason why we brought in our fighting type Pokemon. And it is showtime here. I am going to go... I'm going to... Oh, let's go for the submission. Let's just see how much the submission is going to do. It's not going to do very much damage. We are damaged by the recoil. Which wasn't even a whole lot. But we got hit with the quicksand. We got trapped in the vortex. This is madness out here. I tell you guys. This is a pretty insane battle. I'm going to go for the chip away. You never know. The chip away might do a little bit of damage out here. Oh, the iron defense is coming out. This Pokemon is an absolute monster for real. No joke. Absolute monster of a Pokemon. Cassand. Definitely keep an eye out for that, ladies and gents. We knocked down its speed, which is good. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take down its speed as much as possible. And hopefully we can switch out to Hulk. And then Hulk will be able to take things over for us. At least Bang is here for situational reasons like this. Where we can just knock down the speed. We can do our thing. Here comes the infestation. We might be getting KO'd here, ladies and gents. And that is A-OK. -okay. We're sitting at 4 HP. One more submission then, Bang. Push it into the yellow. We didn't push it into the yellow. We're damaged by the recoil. We're going to go down to the infestation. All right, Cassand. You got to respect the Pokemon with defense like this. It's time to bring out the Hulkster. I believe in the Hulk. We're about to Hulk smash through here. So let's drop the Razor Leaves. This is going to take a little minute, but I believe. I don't think there are going to be any more Super Potions coming out. So it's just up to us to commit here, ladies and gents. I wish... This Pokemon wasn't this tanky, and we're missing because of the sand. This is horrible. This has to be one of the toughest battles I've had. I'm just going to go for another Razor Leaf here. We have the Revival Herb, as I told you guys. So if we do get KO'd, I'll bring in our number two. And then we're going to heal up and continue going. Tough battles here in the desert. I didn't think I'd be facing a battle this stuff for a while. So let's go ahead and use that Revival Herb one more time. I think that should be it. Hopefully Hulk will be able to take down the Cassand after this. It's for us to find out though. So fingers crossed your ladies and gents. What I can do though with Hawkeye out here. Yeah, we're getting afflicted by the infestation is go for the Sing. Now you guys have told me the Sing has a 55% chance of hitting. So it's not going to hit. You know how it is. It's literally not going to hit. It's going to take us some time here i tried it i went for one i'm gonna commit though i'm gonna commit here i'm gonna commit we're gonna go for another one come on baby yes i hit it for once in our life we hit the sing and it did take us 10 attempts i did it with two two attempts hang in there hawkeye hawkeye is going crazy right now ladies and gents let's go for the aerial ace there we go there we go it woke up after one turn? How does that even happen? How is that even fair? Aerial Ace. Right now we need a crit, baby. We need a crit. If I hit the crit, it's, it's now or never. I'm going to get KO'd here. That's it. The infestation is going to take me down. But we have Hulk at full health ready to go. <gasps> We're, free We're freed. Aerial Ace. We did it, baby. There we go, Hawkeye. You're a monster, Hawkeye. Hawkeye grew to level 26. And it's going to be a Monstoon. Okay, we could definitely take down this Pokemon. If I could just land maybe a little Sing here. It's going to go for the Dark Matter. And that's going to take down Hawkeye. Okay, Hawkeye. Well, thank you for everything you've done. I think we took down the toughest Pokemon that we were going to go up against. So now, it should be an easy breeze from here. Quicksand's going to be coming out. So I told you guys, the Quicksand isn't going to do a whole lot. Let's see how much the Razor Leaf does to the Monstoon. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. About time, ladies and gents. About time. So let's wrap this up. Monstoon is going to go for the quicksand. And we're going to go for one more razor leaf. And that is going to take down Monstoon. We've done it, ladies and gentlemen. We took down Monstoon and Goldoon. We defeated Leader Dustin. I'm stuck in the quicksand. We got 2,900 for winning. That was awesome. I can tell you're gonna go far on your journey. You have earned this. With that, we obtained the sand badge. That is the fourth out of eight badges. Here in the Rakoto region. We got four more to go. Halfway there. We received the sand badge. Awesome, huh? Oh, and you get this. We got TM60 quicksand. Thank you. 
It's an attack that can trap foes in sand and hurt them every turn. Good luck with everything. Make sure your adventure is awesome. Well, thank you so much. Our adventure has been awesome. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we're out of here. We've gotten our badge. We are ready to go. I'm super pumped about that, too. It took a lot to take down this gym. It was a very, very tough one. So now, we're done here in Goldoon City, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we'll be continuing from here, so make sure you guys just leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. And if you are a Purple Bandito, make sure you smash that like button, as it really does help the series. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark. Have a good weekend.